Okay, before you comment telling me to listen to her most recent album, I tried, I tried to listen to it, okay? I got a couple songs in. I did really like the first couple tracks on the album. Midway through the album, it just reached this point where like, I was just sitting here having nothing at all interesting or helpful to say about the album and I just wasn't enjoying it and it just wouldn't have been interesting content to watch at all. I did think the first couple tracks on that album were incredibly interesting and uh, yeah, incredibly interesting because Doja is a controversial figure. I I mean, this is just, she just is. You either love her or hate her. There's not a lot of like in-between opinions. She has gotten under fire for recent things that she's done. And I acknowledge that like she has done some things and said some things that I'm not a big fan of. However, that album did make me really curious to check out her other work because like, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of liked some of the songs a lot, um, a couple of the songs. I really liked the first two tracks and I just really liked her flow and her rap style and I don't even like rap music that much. So yeah, we're gonna check out Planet Her. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Beth, if you are new here and I like to talk about music. Today we have an album called Planet Her by the rapper Doja Cat, uh, June 27th, 2021. So I'm only two and a half years late, but I'm excited. I'm excited to check out this album because, I don't know, I've just been curious about it for a while. I'm like, I might as well just check it out by now. Tried to listen to the most recent album from Doja and yeah, I didn't really have a lot to say beyond like the first two songs. I will say that I thought it started in a really interesting way because she was basically saying like, y'all can keep talking about me, but like, it's just gonna benefit me at the end of the day. And she kind of opened with like, like paint the town red. I loved that song straight up as well as uh, yeah, I liked a couple of them. And then from like track four to like, I think I got to track eight before I stopped listening. Cause I was like, this is just like, yeah, I couldn't get through it. But um, I didn't really care for those, but like Paint the Town Red is that girl. I'm sorry. Like it just is. It's super interesting because I see it as her looking from the perspective of those around her, the fan base or the media who is looking at her and saying like, she's a rebel, she's the devil. And she's kind of clapping back at that and saying, I don't care, like I, and kind of owning the labels that people have put on her. I thought that was a super interesting opening to the album. And a lot of the other songs I heard on the album also got into that theme as well. At some point though, I will say it was getting a little bit repetitive. I was like, okay, I think we've, we've hammered this theme home that like you're that girl and you don't care what people think. And now what else are we gonna explore in this album? I didn't listen to all of it. So I can't say what she discussed in the, in the latter half of the album, but like the first half of the album, I don't know. It just got a bit repetitive for my taste with the themes, but some really cool flowing and rapping going on. I don't listen to a lot of rap music, very hit or miss with it. I like a few rap songs here and there, but I'm not like pumping it on the daily. I'm pretty sure no one's surprised by that, but I wanted to check out Planet Her and just see what happens. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I just feel like she has a cool style. I really do. And like, I don't support everything she's ever done. Just like I don't support everything that anyone has ever done. That's just not really how life works, but I still wanted to check it out. So if you will have me, I would like to check it out. Okay, anyway, the first track is called Woman. It is by far the most streamed song on the album with over a billion streams, which is kind of insane. Um, so without further ado, it's not the most streamed. Kiss Me More. I do know Kiss Me More. I also know Love to Dream, I think. I'm absolutely like kind of obsessed with that song. And I really like Kiss Me More. It's so catchy and Say So. Is she on here? Say So, where are you? She's not on here? Oh, well I know Say So. I mean, everyone knows Say So. It's very catchy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, ugh. Okay, woman, woman, I mean, period. Period. Ooh, she the devil, she a bad little bitch, she a rebel. And tell me you don't have that stuck in your head 24 seven, cause you do. 14 song album, girl, why is it so long? This has like an island feel to it. Like space island vibes. <laughs> The way she says that is so like appealing and satisfying. Plant your seed. This is so catchy. Oh wait, 
I really like this. Motherfucker, but they got a problem. Put some babies in your life and take away the drama. A lot of people are the opposite. Cause the world told me we ain't got that common sense. Got a Oh, yes, go down. Go down. Mm. You would never know a guy without a goddess. It's honest. It's fucking honest. Get in. I could be on everything. I mean, I could be the leader. Head of all the states. I could smile. No, I, I love when she goes into this voice. I, it's different than like. I don't like I don't know what her voice is. This is something I discussed when I tried to listen to Scarlett is like her voice sounds so different each time she opens it. She just has all these different tones that come out and it's really interesting. Like her voice, she can sound like 10 different artists in the same song. I think that's really interesting. Amen. I mean, you literally could. They want to pit us against each other when we succeed. And for no reasons, they want to see us end up like we were Gina or Mean Girl. Princess or Queen, Tomboy or King. You've heard a lot you've never seen. Oh, love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Like, I'm hearing something. Oh, I love that song. There was so much that I loved about it. First of all, just the delivery of like the chorus section. There was something about it that was so appealing. It was so satisfying. Wuma, wuma, woman. It was a very like, it was a one worded chorus, but I think that's kind of the point is to highlight woman, to highlight that word. The lyrics, every line kind of hit. Provide loving, overlooked and underappreciated. I could be the leader, head of all the states. I could be the CEO, just like a Robin Fenty, Rihanna reference, right? And my favorite line, they want to pit us against each other when we succeed. And for no reasons, they want to see us end up like Regina on Mean Girls. I mean, yeah, people are constantly trying to pit women against each other, just constantly. That is something that I just love about being a woman. Just kind of a, a feminist anthem, honestly, and, and just really catchy. I really liked all the additions that came in later in the song that kind of it felt like it was building up and like there were things being added so it didn't get too repetitive because with a repetitive chorus you know it can easily get old but I honestly think she was adding enough uh, enough other things and, and the verses were so cool that it didn't really matter so very impressed yeah I had a feeling I would like that song I just did uh, the next one is naked okay Like her voice, that's not even the same voice that was on the last song. Sorry, I don't know. I'm just kind of processing. I like that part a lot. I want to say like before I filmed Scarlet, I was a little bit hesitant because of like Doja's reputation. I just didn't really know a lot about her or anything. And so I was a little bit hesitant. Um, but I watched this amazing deep dive that D'Angelo Wallace did. D'Angelo Wallace, if you want to know, is like my king. Uh, I love that man so much. And he did an amazing deep dive on Doja Cat. So, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. It has like a billion views, but if you haven't seen it, highly recommend. Um, it kind of made me see Doja Cat in a whole different way. Um, he uses the analogy that she's like this meme that got famous. And I think that's really interesting and like just something I'd never thought about before. And it just kind of made me see her in a different way. Not that I saw her in any kind of way really, cause I, I didn't really know that much about her, but I don't know. It's a great video. I would go watch it if I were you. Follow me yes. to my dressing room. Let yes. me know if you ain't about that NSFW. Now it's oh. <laughs> First impression of you is you really like the party. It sounds like it's underwater or something. Like this beat sounds like it's underwater. Okay, like from the first track, I got island vibes. Like, I don't know if that was intentional, but the beat just like felt like I was on an island. And then this is sounding like I'm underwater. So I am kind of getting that like otherworldly feel. Is that birthday so one of a kind? Um, everything about you look like it's on purpose. Got all up in my curves like a puzzle piece. Mm, 
I definitely didn't like that one quite as much as woman, but I will say that I really, really liked her delivery of like the lines, her vocals on that song were super interesting. It literally sounded like it could have been a different artist than the artist on woman. Um, I don't know if like, she's just that versatile. I don't know if she uses effects. Like I, let me know, but I, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I really like the flow as well and just some of the drops and stuff in there. It just didn't really stand out to me as much as Woman, especially like thematically. I was like, okay, I have heard a million songs with this same kind of theme and, and Woman just felt like a standout already. Um, Payday featuring Young Thug. Why do I feel like I'm in a fairy tale? <laughs> oh, <laughs> little howl. Take me somewhere else, Doja. She goes up, then she goes down, then she goes up, then she goes down. I'm bilingual talking money conversations. And baby, we are not that you keep adding up and they run it up and they add it up and they run it, run it. Oh, I love that. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, wait, I kind of love this. Oh, young thug. I was like, who is this? Bring my fucking mistress for a swing and I swear it. I know you feel my vibe. I'm gonna tell you till we die. I do feel your vibe, I really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that, yeah. yeah. There's so many like addictive little moments in these songs, like the yeah, yeahs and the and the woman. I don't know, it's just like this addictive little sound bite. Okay, talk about like, I thought her voice couldn't get higher in the last track and now we're higher. And I do think there's an effect or something, but like. Talking money conversation. I mean, that's like Doja, like that's Doja's voice, right? The person at the beginning was a different person. Dojo. I love when the production goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back. Oh, the outro. Get out, tro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Doja. Doja Cat. <laughs> Is that your full name? I low-key loved that song, I really did. I mean, it has such a cool flow to it. The vocals going up and down and all around. The outro, I don't know. Like there's so many cool elements to these songs. It just kind of goes in all these cool directions the whole time. Like it doesn't stay in one place, which I really like. Like it's catchy, but dynamic at the same time. I think that's what it is. Like it's not overly repetitive, but it has enough repetition that you you get what it is. Like you, you catch on and you sing along and it's fun. Young Thug even, I don't usually like features, but hey, Young Thug, you did your thing. Um, <laughs> the next one is Get Into It, Yeah, which I am getting into it, so yeah. It always starts like this. <laughs> Why is, okay. Sure. If you go to church, get into it, yeah. You just wanna pop up on these times like you the Batman. You just wanna ball up in the Zena with your best friend. Oh, this, this rap, this flow. Call him Ed Sheeran, he in love with my body. I love, love, love when rappers name drop. It's like my favorite thing in the world. As long as it's not like too offensive or anything. I, I just love it so much. <laughs> what are these vocals, Joja? No, like literally, what are they? Get into it, yeah. 
need to get into the drip like a piranha. Y'all need to get into my drip like y'all need water. Yeah! I honest to God, I just love how she raps. I love her flow. I love her voice. I love her delivery. Honestly, Doja has like one of my favorite voices in the rap game, I would say, which is why I can understand how she's like gotten to the point that she has. Um, she has just this very like unique delivery and it's really like captivating and interesting to listen to. Like you're kind of hanging on her every word, which I don't, I don't always feel that with rappers. Turn that bitch into a soccer ball and rock a rock a rock a get into it like a suit and fuck a stock a black a rock a What? Thank you, Nikki. The outros are already so good. You. Nikki. Got that big rock and I'm chill. Wait, why did she thank Nikki? What what Nikki do? <laughs> um, okay, Doja Cat. Yeah, I liked that one. Um, probably not like my number one favorite, but I liked it. It was just so fun to listen to, like her little her little delivery, her little vocals, her little her little rapping. Um, I definitely got into it. Like this is all music you can sing along to super easily. Like it's just it's so earworm. Um, need to know is next. What are we doing? What are we doing? Where are you taking? <laughs> I do feel like an astronaut for some reason. Yeah, wanna know what it's like. Baby, show me what it's like. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Baby, I need to know what your size at to track the fight. Panic attack. Um, yeah, I didn't connect to that one sonically at all, and the lyrics were a bit too intense for me, so it was just not really my song. Um, but the next one is actually an Ariana Grande feature. I like a lot of Ariana's music, but lately she's not my favorite person. She's just not, like, but we will get into this song and see what happens. What is up with all these like bird calls? Is it because we're on a different planet? Okay. Ooh, I like this vibe. Love this one. I just want you, but I don't do drugs. Is Aria gonna Aria? Ariana gonna have a verse? It's so dreamy. I, it's dreamy like love to dream is dreamy. FaceTime. Doja Cat got me purring like I'm Doja Cat. Keep me in your bag. <laughs> This dreamy vibe, their voices together, I'm sorry. my favorite so far. No, why is this song so good? That's my question. Like, what did she put in this song? And why does it have less streams than all the other songs? Justice for I Don't Do Drugs. Oh my gosh, loved it so much. I can't even talk about it because I'm gonna get upset that people aren't streaming that song as much as the others. It was so dreamy. Like, I think anytime Ariana's present, present is presence is present, it's going to be even dreamier and like more heavenly than ever. But just the production itself too was very dreamy and like otherworldly kind of vibes. And this is kind of like an escape album in terms of the sound, at least for me, I'm like kind of escaping into it, which I can really appreciate. The next song I do know, I, I think, I think this is the song that I know. I absolutely love this song. I am kind of obsessed with it. It is called Love to Dream. Is this the song I know? Cause I'm not immediately recognizing it, but I've streamed it a lot. I know what you mean. Oh yeah. You don't fuck with randoms. I got it. Randoms. Oh yeah. And it 
feels like a fantasy. It feels dreamy, and I love that. Oh, I just... Like, I feel like the verses, I'm just kind of vibing, and then the chorus is my favorite part of this song, and the, so the part of the song that really stands out to me the most. You just float into, like, the fantasy of the song, and then you're brought back to the verse, and you're kind of brought back to reality, and then you're brought in, and you're brought out, and it's just, oh, I just... <sighs> I love that. Anything is possible. And that layering, there's vocal layering, ugh. Oh yeah, the second verse is the best verse. I love that part, that's my favorite part of the whole song. Oh, I love that part too though. Wait, okay, no, the bridge is the best part of this song. Ugh. Or the second verse or whatever part that was. I forgot how iconic that part was. Like, there's just all these little things that she does that just make the song better. Like, I don't make the rules, they just do. Ugh. Like, twice a day, da -da 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 holidays. I just love that, that's so creative. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You right? Is it like, you right? Or you, right? You right. Oh, like you okay. I got a man, but I want you. I got a man, but I want you. And it's just nerves, it's just dead. Make me think about someone who should be thinking about it every day. I need like a switch up. I need some more unique things to be happening. Girl, I want you like you want me to. Wait, why isn't the weekend? Oh, he is. Okay, he has listed. Okay, I'm just reacting to all the controversial figures in one video. Except for SZA. SZA is the opposite of controversial. He's so connected to that woman that you used to be. But, but, but this sex to put it in, then you belong to me. Belong to me? No, no. Um, yeah, overall as an entire song, I didn't connect to that one as much. Um, I thought it was catchy. I just... I don't know, the connection. The connection wasn't really there for me. Uh, the next one has been like this. What is up with the vocal effects on this album? And why do I kind of like it? See, I think the ones where she uses the vocal effects are kind of standing out to me even more because like, it's something a little bit different. It already has that unique element that's gonna be more memorable for me. And I will say around this point of the album, I get nervous because we get to that part of the album that usually has like filler songs and songs that, at least for me, this is the section of the album that I always, always connect the least to and it's always hard to get through. So I don't know, like I, I'm just kind of scared for this section. I'm always scared for this section. I do like the beat. This one has the most singing in it out of all the songs so far. Can't put my trauma to the side when you told me I was lying, had me been and I could die, baby. It's giving Nicki Minaj in the way that she can just go from rapping to singing very abruptly. She has both talents within her. Some people can only rap or only sing, or like they do one way better than the other. I think she can do both well. That's that's just my opinion. I think rapping is like my favorite way of hearing her voice, but I think that she has a good singing voice as well. Um, also, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on her VMAs performance. It was actually so good. Not that I was surprised, cause like I knew she could sing live or like rap live. I've, I've seen performances on TV before, but like I was, I was wow. I loved her whole look with like the glasses and everything. Oh, I just loved it. Wonder when I ain't there. Yeah, it was another one that just didn't really stand out to me. I don't have much to say about it. Um, options featuring J I D G Jid. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's the third time they've used the same sound effect. Cuffing? Cuff it. Am I right? You know we both got options. Okay. I like this rap. Yeah, I love it when she goes up and down with the vocals. Like that's my favorite part of her music. Dropping your job when the dress at the floor. I don't need Oh, I love how it like goes down to that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like this one. There's 
there's a space sound effect. Planet Her. Oh. Yeah, this flow. <laughs> vegetable? Kitchen island bedroom closet. I know it's like supposed to be kitchen island, but it could also be kitchen comma island. Going back to the island beat from the first song. Okay, that one really brought me back from the last couple tracks that I just didn't really vibe with. I really loved the flow of it. I loved how it like went down to that like kitchen. Uh, bathroom island closet. I thought that was such a, a cool like little transition and I love the vocal dynamics going high going low I, I love it when she does that in her songs because it makes it more dynamic to listen to it makes it more Interesting to listen to all throughout I think that's why I didn't connect as much with the last two tracks is because I just didn't pick up on that as much uh, uh, In those songs and um, the next one is ain't shit man This happened one two too much. I love that. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, true. It's so sing songy. It sounds almost like a, a nursery rhyme or something, but obviously it's not a nursery rhyme. It's saying like, listen to your friends when they say that that guy is like not it. And I love, I already love this one, like the flow of it. And oh, just, it's so catchy. It's so like memorable, like those little melodies. Say that again. This square like Madison. <laughs> I can't even really get mad at them. They fall, then I got a face palm, shook them like an eight ball in the sim. Okay, the, that line is a great example of rap lyrics that I love. They're square like Madison, Madison Square Garden. I love like puns and lyrics. Uh, I feel like that doesn't surprise anyone if you know me. Like, I just love puns. I think they're really fun. Um, I just love the creativity in that. It, it's like, it may be simple, but I love it. Ten page text, should have wrote a book. Could have made a bag, but he broke and he still wouldn't tear like a chiller. Relax a bit. I can like that because your dad's a bitch. Must be the way that the you ain't shit need a laxative. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love, can't pay rent. I love that. Anytime she kind of makes it this dreamy vibe where she goes up with the vocals, I don't know if it's an effect, I don't know if it's her voice, I don't know if it's a mixture, I'm not that familiar with her. I love those moments so much. Like, can't pay rent. That's just such a, oh, like, give me more of that, honestly. <laughs> Yes. Said that's not cheating if I wasn't with your ass, yo. You kept secrets and your cousin told me that, so. Your cousin? Looking like a stick up in your ass, so. I'm not your mommy. Find a new hobby. What, like this? I call your fucking mom. You should have paid my rent. Go get a fucking job. I loved it. That was one of my favorites. So catchy. The high, the high parts. Um, and I like the lyrics kind of being like, listen to your friends. Like they're not lying to you. They're just trying to help you out. Uh, the next one is Imagine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait, I love this. This is so dynamic. Oh, that beat is everything to me. It's so low. It's so rumbly. Like, this song is so dynamic, up and down and all around, and just. There's like paparazzi clicks in the background. There's a lot of auto-tune on this one, which isn't always something I enjoy. Like, it definitely depends, but actually, I don't mind it on this song. Yeah, I really like this one. What? 
Another one that had a really repetitive chorus, but like I didn't mind because it was just so catchy. And I think because the verses, like the beat was so cool, I didn't care either. Like, I don't know. That one was just very dynamic to me in the production, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. It just really was really cool. I feel like no one's surprised that I like that one because it was like this kind of lower, darker sound and something about that that just really usually draws me in. The next one is Alone. Is that an acoustic guitar? Heck yeah. <laughs> Oh, this one's dreamy. Is it crazy? I'm not scared to be alone. I love that. I let me to better tell him rest in peace. Bet you thought I'd die. Oh, that little alone. Now you're scared to be. Oh. I like the lyrics of this one saying, aren't you surprised that I'm I'm not scared to be alone? Like I'm actually independent and I don't need you. And then the line, you ain't even there for me, but now you're scared to be alone. Like now you come back at me and say that you wish I had been with you. And I actually really like that really deep alone that happens after the chorus. At first I was like, I don't know how I feel about that, but I actually really like it. Again, like it's dynamic, it's interesting, it's unique. It keeps it, it keeps it going in a direction that I just didn't see coming and I like the unexpected. This one's kind of like making sense to me lyrically on the album. There's been some that I've just felt like, cause if this is like a feminist, album there's been songs that have felt more like feminist anthems than others i don't know you want me but it's by giving me reasons to fly to the to the to the to the love that if we can make up this we try oh it's light it's airy it's dreamy my favorite thing on this album middle finger to you so you see where the whole care it is i need the ants both of us needed a whole therapist I mean the both of us needed a whole therapist i like that line too there's some clever writing in here for sure i mean middle finger to you so you see what a whole carrot is whatever that is i don't know how big a carrot is okay i'm not uh, i'm not rich oh yeah I, yeah <laughs> it goes into this dreamy section you don't want what you need most like this is just a flex on that on whatever guy she's talking about saying like you know what just get away from me like i don't need you anymore i mean yeah that one too i loved it it was so dynamic it was so interesting she brought it into this really dreamy higher place that felt very like airy and light but then she there was that like creepy kind of alone voice and it was the only time that that voice came in which i think was also like maybe going back to the whole alone theme i don't know but i love that i thought that was so creative the lyrics were so good too yeah i don't know if this was meant to be like a feminist album or not i, I know doja cat has come out and said this was Literally just a cash grab, like her words were, this album was just a cash grab. So I will say, I don't know if there was that much intention that went into this, but maybe there was a lot of intention and maybe it is supposed to be like a feminist album. I mean, starting with a track like Woman, I thought we were gonna get more themes like that throughout. And like, there's been a couple tracks here and there that have gone into that. Like, I think Ain't Shit and Alone kind of stand out in that way. Maybe like, I don't do drugs. Not to say that every song has to be like, super on the nose to that meaning, but it's just something I'm, you know, discussing because I'm doing a reaction. We're on the last track. I do know this song. I really love this song, actually. It's just so catchy. It's so fun. I did not realize it was featuring SZA, who I've actually covered on my channel, if you missed it. Love her music as well. So I am excited to hear this song again, now realizing that SZA is on it. <laughs> I have not listened to this song in a while. I can't really remember how it goes. chorus wait i have not heard this oh that's cute physical physical is that like a sample or something yeah i've heard that yeah kind of dizzy now but I ain't giving you one in public I'm giving you hundreds oh 
sorry, I'm looking up if this samples the song Physical, because the beginning really reminded me of like, physical, physical. Okay, it does interpolate the melody of the chorus from Olivia Newton-John's track, Physical. I was right. Okay, um, it's not that hard to pick up on if you heard that song, but let me just have this moment. I have not heard most of this song. I thought I had heard the entire thing, but I've really only heard that part, um, like this part that we just listened to that obviously I knew. And like, it's just so good. Like it just comes in and it just hits you like a ton of bricks. Breakfast, lunch, and gin and juice, and that dinner just like visit to He want lipstick, lip gloss, hickeys, too. Oh, where's all your Oh, I'm excited for SZA's part, though, because her voice is so gorgeous. Give me a bug, need a Gucci store. Gucci lemon, and you ain't good enough. All my bitches feel like I dodged. I don't need fucking with you, feel like jail. I can't even exhale. You gon' make me need bail. Oh, yeah. So I've really only heard like excerpts of this song. I have not heard this full thing. I've only heard, like I have heard, yeah, I've heard that last part. Like, you know that, I've heard that part. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I really thought I knew more of that song, but it was fun to kind of hear the full thing. There are some moments that are just insane in that song. Okay, so overall, I really like this album. Uh, I will say there were some songs that stood out more than others. I mean, as any album, there were a couple that I didn't really vibe with. You know, I think that it's a strong album. I think it has some really creative lyrics, creative melodies, vocal layering and, and vocal dynamics that were really cool. And honestly, that was probably my favorite aspect of the album is just the way that she uses her voice to go in all these different directions. And I'm sure some of that is due to effects, but some is due to her just having a versatile voice, I would assume. I really don't know. Like, I don't know what her process is like. I mean, some artists use a lot of like effects and a lot of auto-tune and a lot of pitching to do different things. And some people don't, and they just have like a natural way. So I don't know, let me know. But yeah, I think Woman was definitely my favorite. I mean, it just came in so strong, so memorable, so catchy, but there were a lot that I liked after that as well. Uh, but just like, she came in so hard with that one, you know? And I thought we were gonna get more themes kind of similar to that track, and we did get some of that. Probably not as much as I would have thought, but lyrically, the ones that I loved the most were woman ain't shit alone, I don't do drugs. Like, I just loved, I love the the bars on those. Can I say bars? Is that like dumb? Um, I just loved the, the lyrics on those and the raps on those. Yeah, I loved the really dreamy, airy moments and it did kind of feel like she was taking me to a different planet which I can appreciate I really can it was kind of like escape music for me and I like that yeah so this was kind of random of me I didn't like I don't know this was kind of random of me I really hope you enjoyed uh, let me know what you think of this album and and how you would compare it to Scarlet I would be really curious to know because I have heard part of Scarlet and so I can I don't know I would just be curious to know your thoughts this is my album ranking what are some of my favorites some of my least favorites always open to change and evolve over time and feel free to disagree with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. It would really, really help me out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.